Hello again. Uh, one of our subscribers has gone ahead and asked a question that was near and dear to me and something I was hoping to do anyways. So I've stepped up the schedule a little bit and uh, introduced a change to the elevator control cabin to make that 103. Uh, there's a new paste bin for that piece in the description. Uh, but what it does is it adds a configuration option to the cabin if we take a look at the config of that, uh, it adds a side for if people enter an invalid password, uh, whether that be the access password to get into the cabin or a floor specific password. And what that does is it adds the ability to do a rooftop based trap system. So using the demo that I've built on a few other videos here. Um, I went ahead and added a new layer on top of the existing cabin. Uh, don't forget to break any of the covers so that way the frames are connected. Um, shif shuffled things around a little bit so that I could have a wiring go from the top to a set of pistons. Um, note if you do go ahead and move your modem out to the back like this you gotta have treat it like a full block so you need pistons and uh, you need panels and all that sort of thing. Uh, you also need panels to deal with the wires, you also need panels to deal with the pistons, and in this case what I did was I added on top of here a pair of pistons, one from the side and one from the top, uh, that control the two glowstone blocks that look like a perfectly harmless light from inside the cabin. Um, for safety of the build, I'm using water, but you could certainly use lava. Um, and what this does is if an invalid password is entered, the computer goes ahead and shuts off this circuit, and your lava will go ahead and pour right into the cabin. Um, you'll want to apply any of the passwords that you need to to the system. Let's go ahead and show what happens when someone does something wrong. So we'll come here to floor two. And I'll just reboot this since I've already entered a password. Okay, so if someone enters the wrong access password, away you go into a flood of lava. And the door is only open in this case uh, because I summoned it on this floor and uh, had uh, come off on this floor. Um, that will go ahead and shut off in a moment or so, but the um, for the most part the door will be closed so you won't burn down whatever structure your trapped elevator is attached to. Um, the default code uh, that's in here will for the moment uh, do 60 seconds um, of lava flowing into the cabin and keeping the door locked. And if we go ahead and open up the code and take a look at how this is handled, um, there's a couple of places in here where you'll see um, the password control. Uh, if you just search on password, you'll see here. Uh, if there is a bad side configured, then it will go ahead and do this functionality. Uh, by default, it says this. Uh, you can go ahead and change that description uh, to die. <laughs> if you would like, um, and you can tweak the delay on that, um, so uh, if you want to, uh, you can have it be shorter or longer as it floods the cabin. Uh, you'll find this chunk of code is in here two or three different times, so you'll want to make sure you've got all of them. Um, so see, here's another one in here, wrong password. Uh, so just make sure you kind of crawl through a little bit, and if you just search for a bad side, that'll jump you down to any of these. And that way you can change uh, any of the password messages. Um, I expect you to die, etc. So uh, go ahead and change those, and hopefully that helps uh, our subscriber with what they were doing with uh, their challenge build.